ready, folks. Gotta split some more wood.
watched that hawk grab that squirrel out of my yard and fly up onto that telephone pole. Too bad I didn't get it on film, but it was awesome. Some of these have some branches going through them. And that makes it uh, a little interesting. You want to kind of place your wood in the proper spot. You don't always want to try and go through these, but if you are gonna um, have to go through a, a branch and not like this, you put it at 12 o'clock to the blade. So you typically you would split right down the middle of that. If you try and come in from like an off angle, sometimes it, it makes the blade work a lot harder and you're going like cross grain, if you wanna say it that way. I usually wanna have one of my sons here to help me support these big things. Um, but I got to get caught up on this stuff, so I can't always wait for them. So we're gonna we're gonna. This is a heavy one here. Um, we're gonna try and get this one up on the splitter real quick. And this is one of the reasons I bought this splitter was because of this log lift. This log lift. This thing will lift a log bigger, big enough to flip this splitter right over. Let me tell you something. I wouldn't buy another splitter without one. Let me get rid of this little piece first and then we'll tackle that big one.
flip this over and I'll that's exactly what I said this branch is going in on an angle so this is a good uh, thing for you to see Now this is probably going to bind again, so I'm going to spin it around. This is the ugly part of wood splitting. We're going to try that. splitting session. Getting this to a good work height. Alright, here we go. We're on row number three. We're just stacking a little differently this year. Um, this is actually going to be mostly next year's wood. We'll only touch this if, uh, if for some reason we got an extra cold winter and we, we run low. We'll, uh, we'll tap into this. Otherwise, we have another cord and a half, maybe two cords that are split in the back of the yard already. Getting lower. We getting there. Hit it. So we got everything locked up for the day, put away. Another little uh, stack of logs for the next session. This amount should just about fill the trailer. We'll see. So we got a pretty good rack of wood started. This is actually for next year. But uh, thanks for watching. We had a lot of fun. I tweaked my back a little bit today, but it is what it is. 
but we got to keep going strong on this wood. Got to get it all done.